Today, we're gonna to run through 10 different ways that you can hack the Bumble algorithm. You must be very excited. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what even an algorithm is when it comes to online dating, essentially these apps are going to implement a algorithm to help kind of determine what people you should be shown to and who should be shown to you. It's essentially giving you like a desirability score. Bumble wants to make sure that its users have a good experience and are matching with like-minded people that are sort of like on the same level as them. But on that note, there are unfortunately a lot of things that do hurt your score. But on the flip side of the coin, there are a lot of things that improve your score. So many guys are doing things that they don't even realize that are hurting their chances. They're getting less and less and less matches over time or even worse, getting shadow bans. And they're thinking, where am I going wrong? I guess my photos aren't that good. I guess nobody likes me. Giving out a little bit of nice guy energy. But still, it's kind of understandable that you'd have that confusion. Maybe one day you were getting way more matches and today you're not. So chances are you have been struck by the almighty algorithm. But the good news is today we are going to go through 10 different hacks on how we can improve that when it comes to Bumble. Now look, hacks is probably the wrong word. I do need that clickbaity title to hook you in. But essentially what we're gonna be running through is 10 different ways that can beat the algorithm, make sure you're not doing anything wrong and you're doing all the things right that you need to get the max desirability score that you can get. Now, before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, my name is Steve from DudeHack.com. I'm an online dating coach for men. And at DudeHack.com, we help guys improve their online dating game. So if that interests you, then consider subscribing. But today is all about the almighty Bumble algorithm. So let's get into 10 different ways that we can beat it. Now, first, probably the main thing that you should be aware of when it comes to upping your algorithm score is to make sure that your swipe to match ratio is the highest it can be. <laughs> Really? So simply put, if you're getting more swipes, of course your algorithm is going to be sort of at that top notch level. What you should be focusing on more is your swipe to match ratio. So if you're swiping right on people and they swipe right back on you, you're going to improve your algorithm score way more. That's because in the eyes of Bumble, if you're someone that has like a 90% hit rate or above, obviously you're a great profile. So I just wanted to address that first. That's the main thing you should focus on and kind of leads to my first point. And that is to swipe both ways, as in be a little bit picky. A lot of guys on these dating apps will go and they'll swipe the first 10 supermodels that come up. And yes, while you want to show that you are attracted to those people, where you should focus on the most is people that like just really do it for you. You share similar interests and ones that you can imagine swiping right back on you. And if you're swiping a little bit carefully, it just shows Bumble that you aren't planning on using the app wrong. And it, like I said, spam swiping and that you are taking your choices very seriously. So keep that in mind. Definitely don't just swipe right on everyone and be way more picky with who you choose. Number two is to verify your account. Now, first and foremost, the reason for this is it does just help you get more right swipe. You're seen as a little bit more trustworthy in a day and age where there are so many catfish and bots on these dating apps. Showing your potential matches that you are in fact who you say you are is only going to increase your chances of getting that right swipe. And I do have a sneaking suspicion that Bumble itself is going to reward users that have verified. When I say reward, I mean probably put you just a little bit higher in the swiping deck than guys that haven't put in any effort into their bio or profile and are a little bit suspicious because they don't have that little blue tip. Number three is is to upgrade your profile pictures and especially your main first one. Some women, and I've seen it firsthand, will swipe through like 10 profiles faster than you can even say the word match. So it's so important that your number one first photo is your best photo. Definitely no group shots, nothing that is covering your face. It needs to be nice, clear, better if you're smiling, looking at the camera and it's full body. Additionally, use at least six photos on your profile so you can have every chance to stand out. And again, I do have another suspicion that Bumble will actually reward you if you flesh out your profile and you do have more than six photos or just six photos. Number four is to add profile badges. Profile badges flesh out your profile a little bit more and do give potential matches a lot more to go on. Number five is to optimize your bio. Now this one blows my mind because so many guys are dropping the ball when it comes to this. You've essentially got just your photos or your bio slash prompts to make an impression. So why not max out all of them when you can? And so many of these online dating plebs are putting the same boring crap that you see every were saying, you know, I like travel and I like adventures, you know, cut it out. Don't be boring and cliche like all these other guys are doing on basically every single dating app. These girls have seen this bio before and it's not making her feel any. Instead, try to come up with something maybe a little bit funny or something that makes you stand out. If you're unsure what to do, have a listen to today's sponsor. 
because that can definitely help you with your bio. So just a very short break for today's sponsor and today's sponsor is me. Now the channel is supported 100% by just myself. We don't have any external sponsors. With that being said, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor, which is Hook Her Heart. I've developed this groundbreaking new course which teaches you everything you would need to know about online dating from A to Z. It's called Hook Her Heart, the modern gentleman's guide to attracting, entertaining, and retaining high quality women. In my new jam-packed five module course, I'll walk you through some of the most vital concepts like how to build a good physique, exactly what to eat, whether you wanna lean up or gain some muscle. My methodology for upgrading your look from grooming to a whole wardrobe transformation, a fresh overhaul to an attractive, intriguing dating profile, my exact process for optimizing your pictures to get way more matches, my best openers that get interested responses from women, live breakdowns of magnetic conversations, my core methodologies, and the six pillars of conversation, what to do on the date to give her an amazing experience, and the smoothest, most natural way to escalate towards your end goal, plus so much more inside the course, and three awesome bonuses that you'll get get for free if you sign up before my special introductory price expires. So if you are serious about transforming your dating life and you want to learn literally everything you would ever need to, well then click the link down in the description below so you can get the special introductory price offer that's not gonna be available for long. Now that's it for today's sponsor, back to the video. Number seven is to integrate your socials. So adding your Instagram or even your Spotify account is just one of those extra features that Bumble wants you to do. So why don't you do it from now on? Again, if it's not clear by now, if you are implementing all the features that Bumble wants you to include, you're probably going to get favored over the ones that don't. Plus, just showing a little bit of your music taste and having a chance to show more photos than just the ones that are displayed in your profile, giving a snapshot of hopefully your interesting life can get more right swipes. Number eight is to super swipe. Now, this one is a little bit controversial to some, but personally, if you are upgraded and you are getting some super swipes anyway, use them. In online dating, if you can stand out in any way, take advantage of that and do it. And according to Bumble, you're twice as likely to get a match if you do use a super swipe. Again, Bumble is telling you it wants you to use these, so use them. But don't go start spending a bunch of money on them. If you do get some free ones with your membership, then give those a go. Number nine is to use the spotlight. Now this is a paid feature that's going to put you near the top of people swiping decks for 30 minutes. It's quite similar to a boost on Tinder. Now a spotlight is definitely guaranteed to get more eyeballs on your profile for that 10 minutes. According to Bumble, it says up to 10 times more views. Now personally, I think a spotlight is nowhere near as effective as say a boost on Tinder. But again, more eyeballs on your profile will lead to more matches if your profile is good. So on that note, I suggest that you get started on my quiz down below where you can actually upload your profile of Bumble or any dating app. And myself and the team at Dude Hack will assess that, give you personalized feedback and some actionable advice so you can improve it and start getting more matches. So that ties in well with a spotlight because the best time to use a spotlight is once you've had a little bit of a profile makeover. So if you feel that your rankings in the algorithm are a little bit low, the best thing for you to do is upgrade your photos, your bio, and then set up a spotlight and that will get you on your way to start getting a better score. Now the peak times to use this is around about that sort of 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. mark. Personally, I think like a 9 p.m. on a Friday, Saturday or Sunday, or even a Sunday on like a 10 a.m., 11 a.m. time when people are probably a little bit hungover in bed swiping is the best time to use it. Don't just go set this off on 2 p.m. on a Tuesday while everyone's at work and not really swiping. And at the same time, just take into your account your location. If you're in a city that never sleeps for example, maybe you can set it off a little bit later than usual. And lastly, number 10 is to just reset your whole account. Now definitely listen up before you just exit off this video and do that because this one can definitely go wrong. A lot of people will try to reset their account constantly to get just like that fresh algorithm score. And ironically enough, this actually hurts your score or gets you shadow banned or just gets you outright banned. Now the reason for that is Bumble wants to keep the data on you so you can keep that same algorithm score. But this can be a really good thing because maybe you've done done one of these stupid things a long time ago and you know that your score is in the gutter because you're getting way less matches than you used to. So it's so important that you are following the correct steps of how to do this. I have just released a video on how to reset your Bumble account properly. So if you wanna do this and have a clean slate, go ahead and watch that video. And a bonus tip on how to hack the algorithm is to go and take Hook Her Heart. Now, Hook Her Heart has helped a bunch of guys start instantly getting way more matches, but not only that, knowing what to 
to do after you match, which in my opinion is arguably the most important thing. There's a special introductory price offer going at the moment. So check out Hook Her Heart in the description below if you wanna have the best possible algorithm score, start getting more matches, but then actually get a bunch of dates with those matches. So those are 10 ways that you can hack the system when it comes to your Bumble algorithm. Now, just on that note, if you do see any videos out there for specific hacks that you can do, watch out, Bumble is onto this. And it knows that if you are doing things wrong, then you're eventually going to get banned. In this video over here, I talk about how somebody came up with a brilliant hack to get unlimited super swipes on Tinder, but it led to their account getting banned. Check that out if you're interested. And if you have liked today's video, go press the thumbs up button down below and consider subscribing. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.